I'm Adam Biggers, and I'm here with Detroit Lions legendary wide receiver Herman Moore. Herman, right now the Lions are in training camp, and unfortunately there's a couple other issues surrounding them. How how big of an impact is Cliff Averill's uh, holdout having on the team? You know, I don't think that's going to affect him that much. Um, you know, Cliff's got to do what he's got to do. You know, there's unfortunately the ugly part of uh, sports, and that's business. Players have to take care of themselves. They have to take care of their contracts. And uh, for Cliff... He's in a position where he feels like he, he's owed you know, a, a better contract, a better deal. And at this day and age, you never know when an injury is going to injure your career. So he's trying to take that path. And for the other players, it's got to be business as usual. they got to get back out. they got their contracts in order. So they have to you know, more or less just go out and play and not let that be a distraction. How important is he to the Lions' defense? He had a career-high 11 sacks last year. How big of an impact do you feel like he can have this season? I mean, I think Cliff can have a pretty big impact I mean if you look at what he did last year and just the way he's continued to get better and he's been here for a little bit longer than some of the other players but uh, his contribution to the team and uh, seeing his, his pass rushing abilities and his you know the way he's disrupting uh, the offensive flow I think he's a big part of that but you know they're going to always try and bring players in to replace players if they're not going to be there and ultimately uh, for Cliff he is a big part of their team you look at the turnovers you look at the way he was able to put the pressure on the quarterbacks and uh, had a couple touchdowns. So, I mean, that's pretty good from a DE. With the, all the negative headlines surrounding the Lions right now, what is it like for you as a former Lion to see this? I mean, does it does it hurt you to, to see your former team going through these these pains right now? You know, it's a tough deal, man. It's, it's one of those deals where you look at the Lions, and this is an organization that's definitely on the uptick, and, and they got some really good players, uh, the coaching staff. I really have liked you know, all the things that are being written about the Lions. But when you see the negative parts that come out uh, by uh, a few of the players, um, it is disappointing. And I know those players are, are thinking the same thing. Their teammates are thinking the same thing about them. And you just can't have it. There's no no, no place for it. And uh, for them, I hope that they'll, they'll get their act together and, and do the right thing. But uh, for the most part, you know, the team as a whole can't be held accountable for a few. And uh, for the guys that are there and are doing right, you know, you got to tip your hat to them and just say, listen, Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, go out, have a hell of a season, and that's what you look for. And final question for you, Herman. Just moving moving forward through training camp, how how would do the players kind of brush that that negativity aside and just focus? Is it hard for them to focus, or is it just business as usual? Uh, well, it's always got to be business as usual. You got to go out there and take care of things. You're getting paid to to do you know to win football games and go out and and carry yourself in a particular way. But at the end of the day. Uh, the distractions are distractions. They may take a little bit away from the team. It's going to hurt in some areas of concentration uh, because they always have to be faced with those questions. You know, why? what about this player? What about this situation? And it becomes, you know, just a, a pain to continue to have to answer those exact same questions. And even as a former player, I get asked that question a lot. So I can't imagine what the current players have been having to, you know, basically having to deal with at this point. But um, the distractions should be kept at a minimum. I think the coaching staff is going to have to make sure they, they talk to the players about what needs to be done to keep that you know pretty much out of the media. But it all it comes down to this. Players just have to be accountable. Uh, they have to take care of business, both on the field and off the field. And if they do that, you know we should be looking at a pretty good team for my blue and silver. All right. I appreciate your uh, time today, Herman. Hey, Adam. You're my man. Always, buddy. <laughs> I'll speak with you soon. Yeah, all right. All right.